Welcome back to DIY Golf Cart Garage. Today we're continuing working on our 2003 EasyGo TXT, or what's better known around here is Pawpaw's Tree Climber. We do have a windshield that we'll be installing today. It is a OEM windshield, and it is tinted. So what we're gonna do is I got all the parts laid out. We got the windshield with a protective cover on. When you do get this with a protective cover on it, go ahead, open it up, lay it up against the windshield framing because it has got to fit up against the framing. If it's too wide or too narrow, the company will not take it back if this film is off. Then we've got the two clips that go at the very top that snap on. The two clips that go on each side of the bottom portion. We've got the rubber bumpers that go towards the top and the mounting bushing that goes at the bottom through the hole of the frame. What you'll need is a 7 16 ratchet and socket, a number three Phillips head, and a light hammer. Okay, from the hardware kit, I've got a bolt, a flat washer, and the rubber bushing. Now what I'm gonna do with this is insert it through the hole that's already in the upright. Go here, tighten it up. Get my 7 16 socket. And my Phillips head. And we'll tighten this up. The windshield is actually going to be resting on this. Now all you want to do is just get it good and snug. Don't try to over tighten it. And then we'll do the very same thing to the other side. Okay, now what we're going to do is I have the windshield here. This is the portion that's going to be facing towards the inside of the car. So all I've been doing is pulling back just the edge and one of these side brackets here, the extrusions, I'll be tapping onto the side. Once it's fully seated, we can go to the other side and do the very same thing. Now that we've got our brackets on, right underneath each bracket on each side is a little notch where here where it's cut out. Right here is where the rubber bushing that we installed earlier is going to sit. So what we'll do is we'll get the windshield, set it across and right onto that rubber bushing. Once you get your windshield in place right over the rubber bushing, the bracketry here has got an opening with these two areas that stick up. You want to actually pry them apart and then slide it up on to the windshield upright like that. Once you get it started, you can do the same to the other side and then just slowly press it on up like that till it fully completes and engulfs this panel. Now that we've got the lower bracketry on and the windshield is secure, now we have the upper windshield brackets. You have a rubber opening we want to put the rubber opening to the outside and the plastic opening, we want to take it from the inside out. Now there's a pre-drilled hole already in the frame. So what we're going to do is actually put this over that hole. So remember, got the hard piece here. We'll go from the inside out and just clamp it on like that. That way when we raise the windshield, we can pull this rubber piece out and that securely holds the windshield. Now what I'll do is I'll do this again on the other side and then once I get this up I can take this blue plastic covering off. Okay, now that we've got our rubber bushings on, that is a completed windshield installation. It looks a lot better. It's tinted so when we're out in the sun it won't be blinding us. Make sure you leave a comment whether you liked this video or you didn't like it or just leave a comment but don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for more future videos about this 2003 EasyGo TXT or Pawpaw's Tree Climber. We look forward to seeing you again.